Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I'm just going to show you how you can download, install and configure MySQL on your MacBook having M1 or M2 chip. So in order to do this, what we can just do is we can just go to the uh, Google Chrome or your favorite browser. Then we have to just type download MySQL for Mac. Then the very first link that will appear over here will be from dev.mysql.com. Then we have to click on the very first link and then we have to uh, go with the first option which is Mac OS 13 ARM 64 bit and which is having the DMG archive file. So we have to click on the download and then uh, we have to like click on no thanks just start my download. So once you will click on this button the download will get started. So as of now for the sake of um, time I have already downloaded the file so which is which is there on my desktop. So I'll be using this particular file. So let me double, just double click on this file. And once you double click, then it should uh, it should open some window, something like this. And then we have to double click on this particular uh, file. And then we have to click on allow. And then we have to click on continue. Then you can just uh, read these license and you can just click on continue. We have to click on agree. And then we have to click on install. So over here we it will ask us the max password so we have to put the macbook password and we have to click on install software and we have to just wait till the installation process get completes. So when installation process gets complete so we have to uh, like uh, select the uh, like strong password encryption and then we have to click on next and then over here we have to type a password for the root user so make sure whatever you are typing over here we have you are just uh, like keeping it at a safe side maybe in a notepad or somewhere else um, the reason is we have to use this password in order to log into the mysql so let me just put some password over here something like this and let me just uh, click on finish and over here there is one checkbox like start mysql server once the installation is complete so you can just click uh, you can just check it out and you can just click on finish now again it will ask us the macbook password so let me just click uh, let me just type the macbook password let me click on ok and once installation is done it will just give us the final screen so now the installation is successful we can click on close over here and we can we can close this particular window also now the next thing that we have to do is we have to just go to the system uh, preferences so let me just go to the system uh, system preference and then over here if you just uh, if you just see the last option which is having the mysql then we have to double click on it and then there is one checkbox which is saying that start mysql when your computer starts up you can just uh, check this particular uh, you can just uh, check this particular checkbox and you can just like whenever you will um, check this it will ask us the pos password we have to enter the macbook password and then we have to uh, like close this particular thing the next thing that we have to do is we have to configure a path also so let's see how we can configure a path so to do this we have to open a terminal and inside the terminal what we have to do we have to like use some command so first of all let's type one command which is ls hyphen a and over here you will see some of the files the so the file in which we are interested is a bash profile file dot bash profile file but as of now i am not able to see that dot a bash profile file so we have to create a new file so how we can create we have to just use touch dot bash underscore profile something like this and then we can again do ls hyphen a and now if you just see the dot bash profile file is created so what we have to do we have to open this particular file so we have to type a command open hyphen t dot bash underscore profile something like this and let me just hit the enter so now it will open the bash profile file something like this over here we have to paste the path of our mysql so how we can uh, find out the path so we have to open uh, it 
like a spotlight and over here you have to like type slash usr which is nothing but a uh, slash usr is nothing but a folder so you have to open this folder inside the folder you will find one folder that is local and then there is, will be one more folder which is mysql then what we have to do we have to like copy the path of this particular bin folder so we have to right click on it and then you can just press option button and you will find one option that is called as a copy bin as a path name so you have to click on this and then you have to come back to this particular bash profile file and over here what you have to do we have to like type export so let me just type export and we have to keep this export in a small uh, small case and then what we have to do we have to just type path is equals to then we have to give dollar then a curly braces and then we have to again type a path and then we have to paste the path that we have just copied and now let me just um, save this particular file and now let me just close this particular file we have to close this terminal and we have to quit the terminal also now once we have uh, once we closed the terminal then what we have to do we have to again open a new fresh window of terminal and then over here what we have to do we have to just type mysql hyphen u root hyphen p something like this and now we are getting one issue over here which is like it said sh command not found mysql so if you are also getting the same issue then what we have to do is we have to first of all use uh, ls hyphen a again and then we have to again open this dot bash uh, profile file and then what we have to do we have to copy this particular path and we have to paste it into some other file but before copying i have missed a colon over here so what we have to do we have to like uh, use export path is equals to dollar uh, curly braces path and after the curly braces completing we have to give a colon something like this and we have to copy this entire path make sure you are just saving this particular file and you are just closing this particular file and then what we have to do we have to again open one new file which is dot z s h r c file and then we have to paste these path over here also and now we have to just save this particular file let me just close it let me just close this terminal and let me just quit this terminal and we have to open a new fresh terminal so let me open this and then again let me just try to do my sql hyphen root hyphen u root hyphen p something like this and now this time it will ask me a password so we have to like use uh, password so let me just try to use uh, correct password again yes now if you just enter the correct password then you should be able to see this particular um, message that we are getting over here and make sure that you are using the password which you have set for the root user while installing the mysql so that password we have to use it for a um, login into the mysql so again we can just uh, run one simple command show databases and let me just do one thing let me just yeah i saw i just did one small mistake and now if you just run the show databases command then you should be able to see some uh, default databases that comes when you install a new mysql into the uh, any uh, uh, any uh, like windows or any macbook machine so this is how you can download install and configure mysql on your macbook having m1 or m2 chip if you still have any questions let me know in the comment section and i will try my best to help out in that case so i hope you enjoyed this session i'll see you in the next session